here are the dangers of processed foods when it comes to football. I want to share a breakthrough study with you that'll help drive this point home. And you need to watch this until the end to see what was uncovered. So people were giving two meals with the exact same calorie content, but they're different types of food. Now, one meal was made of whole foods and the other meal was made of processed foods. And after eating each of the meals, the scientists used advanced medical devices in the laboratory to measure the amount of calories their bodies were burning after each meal. Now, guess what they found? It turns out that after the subjects ate the meal of processed foods, their bodies burnt 50% fewer calories over the next few hours. So simply put, their body wasn't able to produce the same amount of energy from the processed foods. In fact, it was generating less than half the energy from the exact same number of calories. Now that's a huge difference. And it's also a huge problem if you as a footballer need as much energy as possible to fuel your performance. So to reiterate, the body was able to create almost twice as much energy from the exact same number of calories. That's just by eating whole foods instead of processed foods. Think about this for a second. Can you imagine the compound effect of changing whole foods for processed foods that will contribute to you and your energy output every day as a footballer? So make sure you replace anything that's processed for whole foods if you want more energy and follow us for more football nutrition tips.